गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एज विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस पिक्चर यू कैन चेक दैट दे आर बेसिकली फाइव जनरेशन विच आर फ्रेम्ड इन जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैव यूज इन द डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ जनरेशन देन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस पिक्चर यू कैन चेक दैट इन फर्स्ट जनरेशन वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स हैव इन यूज as an electronic component then in second generation uh, transistors uh, have been used in place of that vacuum tubes then after that the evolution of integrated circuits uh, done and uh, in place of these transistors uh, in place of number of these transistors we have used integrated circuits so uh, after that in fourth generation very large integration very large scale integration circuits have been used means basically we can say that vlsi technology was there and in case of fifth generation ulsi technology was there so these are the number of technology which has been used for the generation of computers so one by one we will discuss these generations first of all you just have a look that generations of computer so if i talk about the computer then i can say that computer is an electronic device and which is basically used for processing uh, different number of data and information that means with the help of this computer you can do different number of things you can perform different number of applications like you can play games you can uh, write any document Uh, if you want to edit uh, uh, any audio video then you can do that if you want to edit any picture then even though it is possible with the help of computer that means with the help of computer you can perform different different uh, specific task according to the user need so this is possible only um, with the help of computer so uh, in uh, before that uh, uh, there was the evolution of computer Uh, during 1940s so today we will discuss the evolution of this computer one by one so there are basically five generations of computer and uh, these are as follows like first generation second generations third generation fourth generation and fifth generation so these are the basic generations of computer so one by one i'll discuss uh, these number of generations of computer system so first of all you just have a look of first generation that is um, uh, that was during 1942 to 1955 and uh, if i talk about the father of computer then who was the father of computer charles babbage was the father uh, or charles babbage is known as the father of computer who developed the digital computer so if uh, the question comes like who was the father of digital computer then you can say that charles babbage was the father of digital computer then if i talk about the first generation of computer system then uh, the time period for the first generation was 1942 to 1955 so this time period may vary it depends upon the means uh, it may vary uh, from book to book or from uh, like different number of uh, files so do you just you don't confuse uh, in this time period it can be approximate time period it can be from 1940 uh, and it can be from uh, even though 1943 so uh, basically i have written uh, the time period of this first generation from 1942 so uh, you just fix uh, fix it so that you don't get confused so the first generation of computer was from 1942 to 1955 so this was the basic time period for the first generation computer so uh, if i talk about the first generation computer then what was uh, the first electronic computer uh, which which was developed during this generation so uh, if uh, this type of question comes then you can write that anic was the first electronic computer a e n i a c anic was the first electronic computer uh that was developed by jp accord and jw mochi so uh, these are basically the two inventors who invented the first electronic computer that was called anic and if i talk about the full form of this then e stands for electronic and it stands for numeric 
I stands for integrated and uh, uh, and calculator and um, in these generations of computer in this generation of computer basically uh, vacuum tubes have been used as an active electronic component so this point is important that what was the technology which has been used in first generations of computer so question come like this also so the technology name was vacuum tubes okay so vacuum tubes have been used as an active electronic component that means in uh, generation to generation obviously the technology will be changed so uh, as uh, the, the size of the vacuum tubes were very large so that is why the size of the computer will be obviously very large because uh, not only one single vacuum tube you are using you are using number of vacuum tubes within a single computer so that is why the size of the computer was very big so uh, the uh, i am framing some of the features of these types of computers so you just have a look because uh, with the help of these points you can write the advantages and disadvantages of uh, different different generations of computer so the first feature which can be included in first generation is that they are extremely large so obviously they are uh, extremely large because vacuum tubes uh, have been used in these computers so that is why they are occupying very large space and um, in case of technology vacuum tubes have been used and even though for memory device vacuum tubes have, tubes have been used for this computer and um, uh, if i talk about uh, the uh, like cost of these computers then obviously they were very expensive and uh, they consumed a lot of electrical power because the size of is very big that is why uh, they are taking um, uh, lots of electrical power uh, then so this is one of the example of uh, ANIAC this is basically one picture of ANIAC so you can see that uh, uh, the size of this uh, type of computer is uh, seriously very big so uh, if I talk about the operating speed of these computers then uh, these types of computers uh, can give the speed of um, uh, processing in milliseconds as uh, if I compare this uh, speed uh, in today, uh, with today's computer then obviously in today's uh, computer we can get uh, we are getting the speed uh, in uh, nanoseconds my uh, nanoseconds even though uh, so uh, the speed was uh, very slow in these computers or you can say in the first generation computer and uh, if I talk about the accuracy and reliability then these features were very low uh, means these types of computers had low level accuracy and reliability and the storage capacity was very uh, small uh, means you can store only from 1 to 4 kilobyte of files you can store within this computer and uh, if I talk about the languages, programming languages which can be used in these computers. So only um, you know, this, these type of computers can take the data only uh, in machine level programming language. Machine level programming language means um, uh, only you can uh, give the input uh, to the computer only in the form of 0 and 1. So machine language basically is in the form of 0 and 1. So uh, in these computers you are taking the input from the user only in the machine language so that is very tough so uh, if i talk about the examples of these computers then ANIAC was uh, one of the example of this generation of computer then ADVEC is there univec ibm 701 and ibm 650 so these are some of the examples of these uh, of uh, some of the examples of this generations of computer hope you have understood then after that uh, the uh, next generation that is second generation of computer so uh, the time period for second generation of computer was from 1955 to 1964 and um, in this generation in place of vacuum tube uh, transistors have been used so uh, transistors uh, basically uh, better than vacuum tubes as um, these computers were based on transistors instead of vacuum tubes so some of the features uh, you, you uh, some of the features which i'm framing in this uh, second generation of computers are like these computers use transistors then after that they are smaller 
but they are faster and cheaper in comparison to first generation of computer only not from the uh, today's computer not in the not in the comparison of today's computer so they are smaller faster and cheaper only in uh, only with the comparison of first generation computer and uh, they consumed uh, less electrical power than first generation because uh, obviously the size become smaller in comparison to first generation so that is why the electrical power is uh, less and that is why it is cheaper and faster also and then after that uh, some more points in case of uh, this uh, generation of computer like uh, if i talk about the operating speed then uh, in first generation computer the operating uh, operating speed was in milliseconds but in second generations of computer the operating speed was in microseconds also and um, they were more reliable and accurate in comparison to first generations of computer and uh, there is one advantage that they could understand high level languages such as cobol means you don't have to uh, take the data only in the form of 0 and 1 or not um, you don't have to take the uh, data in only in machine language so this is one of the advantage um, of uh, second generations computer then for storing purpose for uh, secondary storage and for uh, saving the files uh, magnetic tapes have been used in these computers that means uh, the storage capacity obviously get increased uh, in these computers so this was one of the advantage in these computers now if i talk about the examples of these computers then ibm 1620 was one of the example of these generations of this generations of computer then IBM 1401 and CDC 3600. So these are some of the com computer system name which was developed during second generations of computer. So this is basically the picture of uh, IBM 1620. So it looks like this. So as you can uh, compare this uh, image with uh, the first generations of computer like uh, the size of uh, this uh, second generation of computers uh, is uh, small in comparison to first generation and then after that the third generations of computer and the time period was uh, from 1964 to 1965 and in place of transistors uh, integrated circuit technology have been used in these computers and um, one ic was a single component that contains number of transistors means not only single transistor is being used in place of um, uh, the integrated circuit uh, like uh, in uh, one integrated circuit, uh, circuit is equivalent to number of transistors that means the size got compact means the size of these uh, computers obviously uh, very small in comparison to second generations of computer so uh, some of the features which i can frame in these uh, in this uh, generation are as follows like uh, these computers used integrated circuits as i've told you then after that they are uh, very small efficient and reliable in comparison to second generation then operating speed the operating operating systems uh, were also developed at uh, this uh, point of time means uh, uh, in the third generation operating systems have been developed like this this is one of the uh, picture of uh, uh, the computer system that was developed in third generation so monitors and keyboards were also introduced for inputting and output of this data so these are one of some of the advantages of third generation computer over first and second generations of computer then after that for storage purpose for secondary storage purpose the concept of magnetic disk were used in third generation only and uh, the operating speed was measured in nanoseconds that means obviously the uh, operating speed uh, is uh, operating speed uh, is increased in uh, third generations of computer and then after that the these computers can understand large number of high level languages not only single high level language can understand these computers they can understand number of high level languages which have been developed during this uh, time period 
so if i talk about the examples of these generations then pdb8 pdb11 icl2900 ibm360 and ibm370 so these are some of the examples of third generations of computer so the today we will cover uh, we these three generations of computer rest of the generations um, the rest of the computers of uh, different different generation we will cover in the next session so till now uh, what you do you just uh, um, uh, note down and uh, uh, note down these uh, number of computer systems in your notebook and uh, rest of the topics we will discuss in the next lecture so thank you everyone